This is Chuck Cameron. Good day. We're at the Kids Energy Zone. I'm not a kid, but I have a fair amount of energy, and I like this place. So I understand that there's a pretty interesting event that's happening. Could you tell us, young lady, this is Beth Sumner, lady, and she you. is the head of this whole wonderful operation. Tell us a bit about the place, Beth. Well, thank you, Chuck. Uh, on January 7th, which is a Saturday, from 5.30 to 7.30, we're having a special, what we call here, Jump for Joy. And uh, we normally have Jump for Joy every first Sunday of the month on, from 4 to 5. And it is a time when children of the community can come in and play around um, with worship music blaring and a Bible lesson at the end and prayer at the end. Uh, and it is totally free to the community. It's for uh, donations only. And normally it goes to Grace Centers of Hope. All proceeds go to Grace Centers of Hope. But the first Saturday of January, we're having this special one, which is two hours. And we're going to have Key of Hope with us. And I'm so excited for this event. So what is this event? Uh, it is a two-hour open gym, okay. okay? And we will have, just like our normal Jump for Joys, we will have worship music blaring. The children will be able to play in the entire gym. And uh, we'll have a Bible lesson. But the very beginning of it, about 20 minutes or so, uh, will be a performance mm -hmm. by the Key of Hope Choir. All right, so I understand that the young man to my right, Darren McClellan, knows something about the Key of Hope Choir. Is that about right? That's about right. Talk to us about the Key of Hope Choir. Well, hey, thanks so much, Chuck, for, for having me. And Beth, thank you so much for so generously opening up this awesome facility for Key of Hope. And uh, Key of Hope is an international humanitarian organization okay. in Durban, South Africa. Uh, Durban is the epicenter of the AIDS epidemic. Uh, it's a, a center of crime uh, in Africa. And uh, the children there have incredible needs. So it's a tough town. It's a tough area. A lot of orphans. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you think about poverty, you think about disease and crime, uh, Durban has it all. And about 15 years ago, a, uh, a couple uh, from this area, uh, uh, here from Oakland County, uh, sold their home, all their possessions, uh, moved themselves with their four little girls to Durban, South Africa, because they wanted to make a difference. We're here to reach a generation of children being left behind by AIDS with the hope and the light found in the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's been you, our supporters, who have helped make possible what we've been able to do, growing from one young girl in one shack unable to attend school to now over a thousand, almost two thousand children that we're reaching every single week with over 30 sports teams or children's choir. And so they have been there now 15 years, uh, now reaching thousands of children in that area, uh, providing food and shelter and resources and getting them into school. Uh, incredible, incredible things that they're doing. And as a, a portion of their, their organization, faith-based Christian organization, they have a kids' choir. Really? How old are the kids? So the kids in that choir in this tour are uh, from the youngest, about 9, 10 years of age. Uh, and they, this is a kind of a reunion choir, so uh, up to 25 years old. All products of the program. So these are kids that they met in, in the squatter camps of Durban, South Africa, in need that they have been able to provide resources for, uh, some in school for the first time, they've graduated school, some of them have gone to college, I mean, just, then they're working, some of them in the program. And uh, so 25 or so of those kids are, are here in the States right now, 
and will be joining us uh, in January right here at the Kids Energy Zone. And they're going to come. It's going to be action-packed, uh, music uh, kind of in their native language, and uh, very joyful. Uh, as they'll be jumping for joy and uh, hopeful, and they'll, they'll put on just an awesome time um, for those that will be in attendance uh, in January. So let me see. They leave South Africa in South Africa's summer in January. That's correct. And they come to beautiful Michigan in our... Late summer, right? That is absolutely correct. And they've got their car hearts on and their cats and gloves and they're you know, seeing snow and winter for the first time and seeing America for the first time, which is a really cool experience for them. And they're just thrilled and overjoyed uh, to have a taste of, of all that we have here. And now we'll have an opportunity to give back, to do, do, do our small part to give back to these kids who are uh, going to be able to take that, that awesome uh, creative energy home. So they're going to do a concert here, is that right? That's correct. Okay. What kind of music do they sing? So they sing uh, some of their native music, and so there'll be drums and dancing and singing, and some in English, some in Zu Zu the Zulu language that is their native tongue. Uh, and uh, a lot of the music, most of the music has been written by uh, Rachel. Uh, so Dan and Rachel, the founders of Key of Hope, Rachel directs the choir, has written a lot of the music. And uh, they are also traveling in this area uh, right now. And so uh, keyofhope.org is their website. You can uh, get a little taste of the music before they're live in action here and uh, get to know the organization a little bit better. So there'll be a concert. This place is going to be full, full of music, right? Yes, it is. That's going to be great. So who all can come to this event? Anybody in the community can come to the event. Uh, it, there's absolutely no charge. It's donations only. And all the proceeds will be going to Key of Hope. Excellent. This sounds like a wonderful opportunity for people who don't know much about African children choirs to come and hear some great music. That's right. It's yeah. a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It truly is. And, and they're incredible. Excellent. All right. So, so how, many, how, many kids, how many folks do you think will be here? Oh, it's really hard to estimate. On a normal Jump for Joy, we have about 40 or 50 children plus their parents. Uh, for this one, we might be having 100, 150. There could even be 200 people in total. But so we'll have to see. But we're ready for it. Will this be a fundraiser for the choir? Yes. Okay. Yes. All proceeds will go to Key of Hope. So people are allowed to bring their checkbooks. I think that's very kind. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is good. A confidential donations box. No one will know. Excellent. All right. Yeah. So you sound pretty excited about this group. Have you been to Africa? I've been to Durban, South Africa twice now. I sit on the board of directors for Key of Hope. I've known Dan and Rachel uh, since I was a kid. Incredible people. And uh, we're excited about all they're doing, that they're able to bring uh, all of their joy and hope here to the States, and uh, that we can do our part to support them a little bit and what they're doing on the ground in Africa. Sounds mighty good. Well, it sounds like you've got really good plans for a good time. I'm so excited. Yep. I'm very humbled for Key of Hope to join us, and so excited that you are. It's gonna be just great. So the folks out there who are watching, they might wanna come here and see a great choir with great kids. I have some knowledge of the way African kids sing. I spent some time in Nigeria and uh, Kenya, and you will never see or hear more joy. Oh my goodness, there's joy. Is that about right? That's right. Uh, despite their circumstances and the things they may not have, the one thing they do have is joy. All right. Well, that's and it, now. Other than this choir, what on earth else happens in this beautiful building? Well, we do a lot. Um, we've got over twenty-one thousand square foot, and we're primarily a training center. We train uh, in gymnastics for girls, and in ninja sport for girls and boys. And ninja sport is kind of a hybrid of gymnastics and parkour, a little bit of karate uh, thrown in there as well. Uh, they run obstacle courses, so it's really super fun. Uh, we also have an uh, instructional program for girls. We have a preschool gymnastics program. Uh, so let me see, what else do we do? We do summer camps, we do open gyms, we have kinder music here, which is a special musical training program for the littlest children all the way up to like eight or nine years old in which they're taught the foundations of music and rhythm and they play with instruments uh, in a very free-flowing and very fun environment. 
Sounds like a wonderful place to take kids or maybe grandkids. Would that be about right? Yeah, we actually have a lot of grandmas and grandpas <laughs> that come in here. And with our preschool classes, we have a lot of grandmas and grandpas that come in the preschool classes and participate with the children as well. It would be fun to watch the grandmas and grandpas sit on the mats and then try to get up. I know something about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it is. But you'd be amazed how energetic right. that everyone is that participates in the classes. Well, Oxford TV likes to bring news of what's going on in our community. This sounds like a wonderful thing in our community. We yeah. thank you. Please pass on to the folks at Key of Hope that we are delighted that they're coming. And please, we will hope and pray that you have lots of folks here in the too. event. All Thank right. you. And the event is when again? The event is Saturday, January 7th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. PM. That's not a.m.? Uh, no, I'll <laughs> still be sleeping. <laughs> all right. Well, from, uh, from all of our friends here, Chuck Cameron from Oxford Community TV, we hope you come. You'll never have more fun. For now, that's all, and have a good day. This is a bird, a kingfisher actually. He eats fish like this, in a river like this. This river flows out to this estuary. This estuary feeds into this ocean. The water from this ocean evaporates into these clouds. These clouds turn into this rain. This rain falls over this forest. This forest grows this fruit. This fruit is harvested by these farmers. These farmers send it around the world to be eaten by these people. These people wash it down with water from this tap. This tap follows a series of pipes that lead to this river. This river is home to these insects. These insects are dinner for this fish. This fish is dinner for this bird. This is a bird, a kingfisher actually. Okay, which one is better? One or two? One or two? One or two? One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Nearly one billion people live with completely avoidable vision loss. Don't be one of them. Get your eyes checked. Christmas, everyone. It's always such a pleasure to come to the Oxford area. You have such marvelous students here, beautiful community. My message for the kids is Christmas is only a couple weeks away. If you're on the borderline of the good or, or the naughty list, there's still time. Get that straightened around. Do well in school. Take care of those pets. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope we, I can fill every one of your wishes. Merry Christmas.
Hi, my name is uh, BJ France. I'm with I'm a, the fire marshal with the Oxford Fire Department, and I'm here to tell you about a program that we've started called Safety Begins at Home. Um, it's a partnership that we have with the state of Michigan. Uh, the state of Michigan fire marshal started a program called uh, MI Prevention year, many years ago to try to help minimize the amount of fire fatalities we have in the state. And in doing so, they've started a program where they give out smoke detectors. We, we've been given a bunch of smoke detectors from the state, and we've also written grants to uh, install smoke detectors in any houses that we that need them in the uh, village or township and village of Oxford. Uh, the program is funded currently by a grant through Four County and uh, through donations through many community members and community programs. What the grant is, the fire department will come out, will install smoke detectors in any resident. Uh, in the township. We're especially looking for residents that have old non-working smoke detectors and an old smoke detector is any smoke detector over 10 years uh, and any residents especially that do not have any working smoke detectors in their house. Um, there's a way to get a hold of us through the township website. If you click on the Safety Begins at Home link, there's a form you can fill out. You can email that to us, you can fax it to us, or you can just drop it off the fire station, or you can give us a call at 248 969-9483 and just uh, inquire about smoke detectors and they'll direct you in the right uh, way. Once we come out to your home, we will do a little safety uh, evaluation of your home, make sure that you are doing things properly, kind of give you some tips and pointers and we will install all the smoke detectors and I forgot to mention we are also installing CO alarms. So if your house is lacking CO alarms, give us a call. We'll see how you can help you. And like I said, you can always get a hold of us at 248-969-9483. Ask for the Fire Prevention Division. I want to welcome everybody to the Oxford Chamber of Commerce for Oakland Corners Realty today. Thank you so much for coming out and joining us. And you have done a beautiful job on this building. It looks gorgeous in here and I love your uh, tables and everything. It really is very welcoming. Um, I want to introduce uh, the associate, one of the associate brokers, uh, Sarah, and I'll let her tell her story. Hi everybody, um, I'm Sarah Boudreau and this is Lori Fox and Holly Pfeiffer and we just want to thank everybody for coming out here. This has been a dream of ours for a long time and we want to thank our husbands, the child their children, our ch all of our children, um, our friends that have helped get this place to where it needs to be and then for all of you, all of your support, we didn't know how welcome we would be until we got in here and our neighbors i mean everybody has been so nice and then joining this group has you know it's just i don't know it's everybody's been so welcoming and we appreciate everything that all that you know everybody's done and then all the events we've oxford had a blast is, oxford is very happy to have you in our business community Thank so you. can you tell us a little bit about your services that you offer so we are a small boutique real estate company in d downtown Oxford, and um, we specialize in residential and commercial real estate. And we've been known to travel all over the state to help our clients find their dream homes. And we have over 50 years collectively experience in real estate. And we also have started our own um, joint venture with M24 Title Company. So uh, that's the name of our title company. And do you want to add anything with that? Do you want to introduce your associate Very brokers? Excited. Yes. So our Lori Fox and Holly Pfeiffer. And anything else you want to add? Great. We are just glad to be here. Yeah. Yes. Can't wait to meet all of you. Yes. <laughs> Thank everybody for coming. Yeah. So you service everywhere. You don't just service Oxford. You'll if there's a deal to be had you'll travel for it is what you're saying. we've been to Petoskey we've been oh. to Holland we've been all over the place okay it's yeah. fun I mean it is we love what we do and and we are like a family and and that's nice. why we love working together and 
I love how you did the building. So you do have some experience in how to make something look great. And um, well, we appreciate you being here. And thank you, everybody that came out. Um, we have some local officials. I have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, village clerk Terry Annika. Hi, Terry. Joe Medora down there, village manager. And um, so, if I've missed anybody, um, and what we're going to do then is we'll go ahead and give you the certificate uh, to say welcome. Thank you. And now we'll officially cut the ribbon. All right. Woo! Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right. Well, we hope everyone will stay and mingle and enjoy the refreshments. And thank you so much again for coming out. This is Lomas Brown, ex-Detroit Lion, and you're watching OCTV. That's Oxford Community TV. Check it out. How many pancakes do you think we're going to go through today? Very good. Oh. Uh, at least a uh, hundred of these. Uh, I don't know how many uh, packs made. What, you got different kinds? Or? We have uh, plain chocolate chip and blueberry. We're having uh, breakfast with the Brinch, so you can eat pancakes for six dollars, and the fun proceeds go towards the restaurant. <coughs> restoration of our bell tower and we're also collecting for the Wednesday night uh, neighbor to neighbor uh, everybody wants to donate to that Well, our bell tower, uh, we found out that the foundation that uh, the bell sits on top of needs to be replaced. And so uh, we've got a contractor coming out and so these funds have helped uh, replace the, uh, the foundation of the bell. Uh, the Wednesday night neighbor to Helping Neighbor uh, feeds uh, upwards to 150 families uh, every Wednesday night. Not only just uh, a hot meal, but also uh, groceries. That's uh, Connie Miller is uh, the person that uh, has helped spearheading that. December 20th, we're going to have a Blue Christmas. Uh, the Blue Christmas is for anybody that's uh, experiencing the hardship, depression, whatever, during the Christmas time. It's just a time to get together, time to be reflective. Uh, there will be some special portions of the service uh, to help those that are going through some rough times. Um, and so that's the Blue Christmas. Christmas Eve, uh, Saturday, December 24th, we're having the uh, uh, 7 o'clock. PM will be our Christmas Eve service, and that includes a candlelight uh, portion of the service towards the end, where we sing Silent Night together. And then Sunday morning, Christmas uh, Day, on the 25th, at 11 o'clock, we'll have a, uh, a regular worship service, with a lot of carol singing and uh, just celebration of Christmas.